Hey gang, welcome. Hey Pete, how you doing, brother? Good buddy, how are you? Good morning. Very well. Welcome to uh, welcome to a live stream here in the Digital Mavericks Facebook group. In fact, welcome to the very first agency hour live stream here in the Digital Mavericks Facebook group. It's pretty exciting, isn't it? Woo-hoo. Very exciting. I want to give a big shout out to the team here, Emily, uh, Max, Maddie, uh, everyone on the marketing team who um, branded this show, called it the agency hour, came up with the name, came up with the concept, uh, did everything and then basically just told me and Pete to turn up and to talk about interesting things for an hour uh, to kick off. The point I'm trying to make here is that um, I've been thinking about this a lot, you know, uh, the reason we're doing this show obviously is to inspire and educate and help agencies grow. And one of the things that I just keep coming back to is that people are the solution and the cause of most of your problems. And if you get a good team together, you will just go faster. And uh, this is just proof, you know, I've, I've li- we've had literally had nothing to do with this show except being told to turn up and talk, and it's amazing. So I actually have no idea what's going on right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Pete's like, I just turned up because Troy told me to. What are we doing? <laughs> are there actually people watching? Hey, if you're watching this, let us know in the chat which country you are from. Let us know in the comments which country you are from. We always like to get a bit of a understanding as to who's who in the zoo. And also you might need to give uh, StreamYard permission to yeah. um, so we can use your face and name on the live stream. Otherwise you'll be known as Facebook user. Right. So uh, give StreamYard permission. Hey, Pete, um, just for those that don't know, whereabouts are you in the world these days? I am about 90 miles north of New York City. So about, about an hour and a half, two hours, I'm right in the middle of Manhattan. Um, I'm in a town called Kingston, New York, which is, uh, you know, when whenever you travel outside of New York, everybody thinks that all of New York is New York City, when yeah. the reality is I'm, like, surrounded by cow pastures and cornfields and mountains and rivers, and it's just beautiful here, lots of hiking. People come from all over the world to go uh, mountain climbing on a little rock right near me, and wow. I'm eight miles from Woodstock, New York, the famous Woodstock, so. Wow. Yeah. So that's like where definitely, I'm at. Uh, Hudson Valley, New York. So are you are you known as upstate New York? Yeah, we're really kind of known as Hudson, the Hudson Valley. Uh-huh. And then upstate it. is further up. So you can go uh-huh. from New York, from Manhattan, you go straight north for like six hours and then you hit Canada. Uh-huh. And, or you can go west for six hours and then you hit Canada. So Right. West for six hours. Oh, yeah, so of that's, course. That's considered upstate. Got it. Um, awesome. Well, we have uh, Andrew here from Yorkshire in the UK. Caroline Golden from Melbourne, Australia. Yes, I know. Welcome to lockdown number six, I think it is here in Melbourne. Or is it number seven? I've lost count. I um, hope you're doing okay, Caroline. I know we've been chatting in Messenger. Uh, Facebook user is here from uh, San Francisco San Bay Francisco area. Bay. There we go. Um and so the 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 reason we're here, obviously, is because we want to, you know, we, Pete here as a coach at uh, at our Agency Mavericks, as am I, of course. In fact, we'll talk about Pete's role in a moment because he's come on in a bit of a, a greater capacity and is spending more time here. Uh, we, we spend all day, every day inside agencies, working with agency owners and helping them grow their revenue, grow their team, grow their profits. And we just want to be able to share what we're learning from working with our agency clients with some of you guys here in the group to inspire you to take action and to give you some frameworks and to give you some tips and tactics so that you can keep growing Um, and also hopefully tease you a little bit and show you what we're doing uh, so that eventually, you know, at some point when the timing's right, you want to work with us, then you know what we're capable of and and the kinds of things that we do. Uh, And we're going to dive into that shortly. We're going to walk you through some of the stuff that we're doing, which is very exciting. What I really want to know, though, is um, in the chat, let us know what is the biggest challenge that you're trying to solve right now? And it's typically, uh, you know, so just give us like a one word. Is it leads? Is it uh, sales, like closing leads into clients? Is it team? Is it uh, recurring revenue? Is it what's the biggest challenge that you're faced with right now, just so that we can get an idea of um, 
what kind of content to put together in these uh, in these uh, live streams for you. And we are also are going to bring in some special guests. In fact, I think next week we have a special guest coming in. I don't know if I can confirm who that is yet. Um, I might look at Max in the green room. And no, he's shaking his head saying, no, 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 don't confirm who that is. All right, I won't say anything. Uh, very good. Hey, so, Pete, what, um, what's your role here now at Agency Mavericks? What are you doing? Uh, <laughs> I am now have been elevated to be your boss. And <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> No, my my uh, my role is to I'm I'm technically called the head of coaching, which for that's a I think that's an Australian term, head of. I think in in the states we would say director of or whatever. Oh, but, um, head of coaching. And, oh, I'm sorry, uh, man. Like, do you want to be known as director no, of no, coaching? No, that's fine. That's to, fine. It, 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 I think I like Pete to be, and I are having nope. a real conversation here right now. I like, to, get, I like uh, to keep it different, so everybody goes, "Well, what's that?" I want them to ask, "Like, what's that?" So then I can tell them. So I'm in charge of, uh, obviously I'm in charge of coaching and I have a, I have a uh, squadrons of people that I coach. Um, I went through three, two flight planning calls today and three already this week. So, and so I'm coaching Mavericks on a, on a daily basis. I'm also coaching the other coaches. So I'm bringing them up to speed on our processes and how we want to do things as, as a team. Um, whether that's the local SEO thing or like how to upgrade your on-ramp or, you know, the sales processes and stuff like that, that we're teaching. So, so I'm in charge of that. And then I'm also in charge of, uh, you know, I have, I have a, I have a, not in charge of, but I have a role in, I guess we would call it product, right? So creating and creating and cultivating processes that we can put into our Maverick in a box and distribute it to our our members our our, our people yeah <clears throat> and um, i'm super excited about that yes. because one of the things that we've learned and we're gonna we're gonna look at one of these in a moment um one of the things that we've learned over the years is that uh, the more we can people are time poor right and so the more we can help people implement what they're learning the faster they'll move. One of the things that we did early on when we first started Maverick Club back at the start of 2018, which is our mastermind program, is, and actually we learned this in 2016 in New York when I came out there and we ran a masterclass, a one-day masterclass, and then the following day we went to New York WordCamp and we found what happened is there was myself, you, Christina Hawkins, Christina Romero, there were a bunch of people who were hanging out in the hallways at WordCamp not really wanting to go look at the talks. We just opened our laptops and we yeah. kind of just compared how we did things and we compared our processes. And so what we did when we started Mavericks Club is we built in this implementation day. When we run our, our live events, we have a day dedicated just for implementation where we're not learning anything new, we're just getting stuff done. And so one of the things that I'm really excited about your role is actually looking at all the things that we teach in Mavericks Club and helping our clients implement more rather than yeah. just overwhelming them with knowledge because I think yeah. that's a, a risk as well. You can just end up with all this knowledge in your head, but you're not actually getting anything done and you end up with a massive wish list of stuff that you want to do, but exactly. you don't feel like you're making exactly. progress. We, we see that a lot, actually. So we have to, you know, you, you, you get, you just kind of jump in and you're in to here immediately. And um, it's a lot better to just kind of work your way in. And that's what our job is to kind of guide them through the path of everything we have. Yeah. Um, Andrew Tate mentioned software is the biggest challenge he's got a, a, a right now. Hey, give us some more details, Andrew. Let us know what exactly, uh, what challenge are you trying to solve there? Are you building software? Are you looking for a software solution? A little more specific would be helpful. Caroline Golden talks about time management. Uh, Mitch is here from north of Noah, Britain. That's uh, very funny. <laughs> Mitch Britt. I'm going to guess that's Mitch Britt, yeah. That's Mitch Britt. He's here north <laughs> north of Noah, Britain. Uh, awesome. So, hey, what, what what we thought we'd do on this call is, um, <clears throat> uh, first of all, we do really want to know what you guys want to learn more about and the kind of guests that you want to see on this show. We are going to bring in special guests. We're also going to bring in the coaches uh, on, a, on a kind of a rotating roster. So, obviously, Pete is here, Johnny Flash based in Virginia, and Christina Hawkins based in Texas. Uh, you're probably familiar with those guys already. Uh, if not, they'll be coming in here, as I said, on a rotating basis uh, weekly 
to uh, talk to you guys, share what's working in their agencies, and we're going to be bringing in special guests. If there's something specific that you want to learn or a particular guest that you would like us to reach out to and bring in to this show, let us know. And nothing is off the table. I can tell you that I'm talking to people uh, already in the pipeline to come in and talk to us about mental health and managing post, uh, post-pandemic uh, anxiety. Uh, we'll be talking about hiring team members. We'll be talking about managing teams. We'll be talking about leads, sales, um, recurring revenue, processes, SOPs, all that kind of good stuff. That's the, um, that's the fun thing about what we do, my man. Like we're, we're, we touch on helping people with their business, but we also really help them with their mental health and their just their boundaries and their, and, and like, I've had several discussions recently about like pulling back from the business so that you can have more time with your family and all that stuff. So like, that's so rewarding to be able to coach people to do that and have them not just have a better business, but just a better life, a better balance. Um, you know, just, it's awesome. It's very rewarding. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I think, um, Thank you, man. I appreciate you, th- those words because it's something that, I, as you know, that I'm very passionate mm-hmm. about. I mean, my wife is a psychologist and I've had my own journey around mental health and imposter syndrome and self-doubt and, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and I think once you start having this conversation, and I, I don't want to kind of spend too long here, but I think once you start having this conversation, you humanise the experience and you realise that, you know, uh, it, it's very easy to get caught in the doing of the stuff and to just to get caught up in like the next challenge and the next goal and the next thing. And I think we forget that at the end of the day, we're all human beings building businesses to support our lifestyle so that we can spend time doing the things we love with the people we love. And I think it's really important to keep that conversation going because without your mental health, your business is going to suffer. In fact, I would suggest that the health of your business is probably a reflection of the health of your mindset and your physicality. Like it's really difficult to run a successful business if you're not in good shape physically and mentally and, and emotionally. So um, I'm, I, I feel also feel very blessed that we've got the team here who are willing and uh, to have that conversation and don't shy away from it. You know, it would be difficult because I want to have this conversation. It would be difficult for me to do that if everyone else in the team was, you know, too scared to go there. And so it's really rewarding that uh, that everyone is is pretty keen to dive in and have those awkward conversations. Um, cool. So hey, I want to talk about these kits that we're developing. Um, do you want to maybe walk us through like why we're doing this, and then I, I can share my screen and show some stuff. But you want to maybe first of all kind of walk through how this came about. So. Uh, well, this was, it did evolve quite a bit, didn't it? Um, so it came about by way of us trying to figure out how to take everything that's in our collective IP between all the coaches and, and uh, agency Mavericks and everything that we've done over the course of the several years that we've been around and disseminate it to our Mavericks members and our other our, our coaching clients and, um, our people, as I like to call us, Um, and just to do it in a standardized way and to help them down the path, right? So whether it's, you know, we use use the term upgrade your on-ramp, which means building up your sales process and your marketing. And so whether it's some, some part of that that we can help with and give you processes and templates and email scripts and all that stuff, or if it's something like this, which is um, like running a local SEO campaign um, to help your clients. So whether it's for client stuff or for internal business stuff, we're trying to give you a little bit of um, more than just coaching, give you things that are actionable that you can that you can implement and ingrain into your business and just start using either from day one or with a little season and taste season to taste to make it your own and, and go from there. Yeah. So I, th- I think of this as like a, a cheat sheet or a, like a swipe and deploy, like, like a, almost like a plug and play, Hey, plug this in yeah. and, and, and yeah, get it's it up basically right. a big, it's a big swipe file. That's really what it is. Yeah. And Max and I, back in the day when we were allowed to go to the office, Max and I were sitting in the office one day and 
we thought it would be, I don't even know how the conversation came about, but we thought it'd be cool to come up with an acronym for KIT. Like what is KIT? What is, what is a KIT? And exactly, someone Facebook user says Lego brick of business. Yeah, that's exactly right. Um, and so, the re- and so I, you know, I love words. And so I came up with this acronym for KIT, which is, which is knowledge, implementation and transformation. And so the three parts to this, and I'll just walk you through this, and I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll walk you through what that looks like and we'll actually use this local SEO accelerator as an example. And perhaps before we do that, Pete, just tell us where this local SEO process comes from. Okay, so I we do uh, we do SEO. We do websites, SEO and care plans, and that's kind of our core business <clears throat> in my agency. <clears throat> so uh, we do local SEO. Local SEO means clients that have a geographical footprint, right? So not nation, national or worldwide, but people that work in a certain area. And um, there's certain things you can do, obviously, to boost traffic using local SEO. So I found that trying to explain what SEO was to many clients, I work with either uh, people in the trades industries or um, uh, lawyers and things like that. They don't know what SEO means. They Everybody's heard the buzzword. They think it's like a switch you can flip and mm-hmm. turn it on and, and it automatically starts working. That's GoDaddy's fault, by the way. And, uh, <laughs> Um, so, you know, it, and, and then you end up in a long conversation trying to explain it. So I decided to, and, and, and when we sell SEO, it's a, it's a 12 month project. We sell it for nine to 12 months. Mm-hmm. So that was too much for some people to bite off because they, they didn't know what the hell they were getting into. Like they had no idea what that was. It's, mm. it's not inexpensive. So, um, I came up with a, with a smaller, call it a wedge product, right? Mm-hmm. So it's a, it's a four, I usually run it for four months, sometimes six, mm-hmm. and it's a smaller price point. And we're doing less than I would do for a full SEO campaign, mm-hmm. but it can show some results in four to six months that mm-hmm. can then trigger them to say, okay, let's, so if this is just a taste of what's coming, let's, let's go all in. And mm-hmm. I've had a lot of success with this. So but, but I know we were talking pre-show that you might, you've got a, like a, a chart or a graph to show some of the results that you've been yep, getting. I have, I have uh, three examples of. What, can you share your screen? Why don't we do that before we actually show the process here? Okay. And then we'll walk through. I think this is, I think it's a good place to start is to, you know, Ben Siegfried says here, this local SEO accelerator thing is perfect timing. I think, and the reason we, the reason we use local SEO as the first kit that we rolled out, and, and I'll, I'll also draw the distinction between, internal kits that help you grow your business. So hiring, and I'll show you a bit of this stuff in a minute, whether it's hiring team members, managing weekly meetings with your team, uh, whether it's, you know, setting up lead capture for your website, whether it's your sales process, their internal business development processes, as Pete mentioned, this is what I call a deliverable. This is a process that you can just take and start delivering to a client as a service so that you can add more revenue. And the reason we started with local SEO is because I think it's the, next logical step for a web design agency to take. You launch a website, the next logical thing to do is to get them onto a, an SEO campaign to boost their traffic, right? Uh, so I think it, before we actually show you what a kit looks like, it might be good if Pete can show us some. Yeah, uh, so I'll, I'll walk you through three different clients. This guy was a, is a personal chef here in my town. Um, he, had, he had launched a website without using us. That was his first mistake. Um, but uh, we didn't do the website, but he did find me through way of, by way of uh, looking for SEO uh, agencies. Mm-hmm. And so we started working with him in right around Thanksgiving here in the States. So late thanks, late uh, November. Mm-hmm. And he had no traffic, almost zero. And as you can see by like Jan- December, he had about a hundred people coming a month mm-hmm. and he soon had close to 300 people coming um, after a few months, 300 people coming to his website. And this is the guy that wrote me a note um, around about April and said that he had the, he was actually thinking about hiring somebody to answer the phones for him because <laughs> they were ringing off the hook. And he, he was one of these guys that thought it was a switch. So he's like, can we turn it off or turn it down because I'm getting too much work. And I said, dude, you can just say no. 
You can build wait lists. Like I started coaching him on his business a little bit. Like you can say no to people. That's And by the way, if you're overwhelmed with business, raise your prices, like double yeah, your yeah. prices. Everything so goes what, up. What, what, what is, he's, he's a personal chef. He's a personal chef. So he'll, right. he, he does little, like he does small weddings. He does engagement parties. He does birthdays, Got retirements, it. things like that. But he'll also like, all right, dude, every Tuesday, you're making my wife and I dinner. So deliver it by Tuesday at noon and you know, that kind of thing. So he, he cool. does that kind of thing too. So, cool. so that's, that's this guy. So some good success there. Uh, who's this, this is our interior designer. So she started working with us for, for a couple months, as you can see, and this is comparing, uh, you know, the two years, 2021 to 2020. So yeah. Orange is 2020 before yeah. she was working with us. And 2021 oh. is when she started working with us. Um, I think she actually, this start, this graph is April. Yeah. That's about when she started probably, probably late March, early March. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, like it just like compared to, compared to the previous year, um, yeah, yeah. it's up 323%, awesome. 324%. Her traffic is up. So again, like she's on the first page of Google for, uh, several keywords. Um, and, uh, you know, she's again, and she's the one that, when was it? I, I have a big, strong rule about people texting me and, um, my clients, she broke the rule. I was out for dinner on a Friday night, um, social distancing and outside, but I got a text message from her at like eight o'clock on Friday night. And she says, I owe you my life. I just closed a five hundred thousand dollar deal. Oh, shit. Like, okay, you can text me and tell me that anytime yeah, yeah, you yeah. want. <laughs> so that wow. was right around October, and uh, you know things have things have been going well since then. So awesome. Um, and she's still with us. She's one of those that like, okay, let's just keep it going, keep it going. Right. I, she knows how to say no. She knows how to raise her prices, so I don't have to school her on any of that. And then yeah. what did I have here? These guys, oh, these guys are, um, they're an outdoor company. They sell, they they like oh. rent outdoor equipment. So in the summertime, it's kayaks. In the wintertime, it's snowshoes and skis and snowmobiles and things like that. Yeah. So again, Orange is last year um, mm -hmm. through COVID, which actually they, they felt they did pretty well through COVID because, um, you know, a lot of people were doing outdoorsy stuff, you know, mm -hmm. and, and they were home. Um, but we, you know, we started working with them in, in January, actually. So this shows a little bit of last year and this year. But then, as you can see, we're still working with them now. And as you can see, it's it's taking off and, and the traffic is up. What's that say? 309.24% wow. over That's last fine. year. So awesome. so these are, uh, yeah, those are, I don't think I have, do I have anything else? Wait, hold on. I think Perfect. I have one more graphic to show you. All right, here you go, Troy. Here you go. A little, little something for you. That's the first message ever I posted in this Facebook group. Wow. Look at that. July 2015. July and This 15. is what I was struggling with, recurring mm. revenue. Mm, recurring revenue. Wow. Okay. Um, so I happened to stumble five, upon that. Six years. Six years ago. Awesome. Uh, all right. So the results speak for themselves. So what I'm going to do now is just bring up the um, – I'm going to walk you through the anatomy of a kit, what the knowledge implementation and transformation is, and I'm going to show you an example – uh, using the local SEO accelerator. Okay, so the it it starts off with what w w with what is the knowledge piece, and so everyone's busy. There's lots of noise coming at us. Our job is to say to you as an agency owner, this is something that you should pay attention to, and the way that we do that is to give you what we call a playbook. And so, full transparency, the purpose of this playbook is to say, hey, agency owner, pay attention to this because this is either going to help you solve a problem or help you explore an opportunity that is worth going after. And local SEO is, is one of those opportunities. And I'll show you an example of uh, one of our Mavericks who's implemented this recently. So this is a, this playbook here just walks you through what local SEO is, um, why it's important and uh, you know, how you can start thinking about it. Right. So, so this is really just a, a very short, you know, three or four page kind of, textbook really that you can just read offline to understand what local SEO is all about. And then we give you a checklist. Here's the checklist of, you know, this is Pete's local SEO process. 
uh, over a six month period, this is everything you would do. Month one, there's a bunch of setup stuff. Month two, there's some some more stuff. And then really month three, four, five, six, it's just kind of a rinse and repeat of more of the same uh, to keep those, those results going up. Now, let me explain why we call this an accelerator. <clears throat> we have, in, in Maverick Club, we talk about the three different types of products that you can develop in your agency. One is the first type of product is called a fire starter, which is uh, their diagnostic audit based tool. So for example, doing an SEO audit for a client is a great fire starter. It doesn't actually fix anything. It just highlights, hey, there's a fire over here and we need to do something about it. Uh, and here's everything that we're gonna do to fix it, right? So web audits, SEO audits, even branding workshops, they don't actually fix any problem. They just kind of highlight the work that needs to be done. They're called fire starters. Then the second type of product that we suggest that you develop are what we call accelerators. And accelerators are designed to fix one or a very small group of problems, but they don't fix all the problems. So for example, I think a website as an accelerator because a website just solves one problem but it doesn't do SEO, it doesn't improve your rankings and it doesn't improve your conversion rates. They're separate products, doing SEO, doing conversion rate optimization, doing social media marketing, they're separate products. So in this case, local, we call local SEO an accelerator, okay? You can call it the local SEO accelerator if you like, but we also think of it as an accelerator type of product because what it does is it helps the client accelerate their results in one part of the business. This will help them get more traffic if their website's really slow and doesn't convert, well, that's a separate conversation and a separate product that we can roll out. But this will actually help them get more traffic if they're a local business, right? And so this document here, you could basically take this and figure out how to do it yourself. You could take this, you could learn uh, about local SEO, uh, have a think about it, maybe chat with your team and say, cool, we want to roll out local SEO for our clients. Here's why it's important. Here's uh, what it is. And here's how we're going to do it. And here's our checklist. And you could roll that out. No problem at all. So this is the knowledge piece. A lot of people get stuck here though, because they then have to go into whatever platform they use and they have to set up a project template and they have to start thinking about dates and they have to start thinking about who's going to do what and all that kind of stuff. Yep. So what we did, what I was chatting with the coaches a few months ago and I, you know, we kind of thought, wouldn't it be great if we have this conversation all the time, wouldn't it be great if, right. And as we're growing, um, and, and we're learning and we've got, you know, more resources available. We said, well, wouldn't it be great if we could teach our Mavericks this stuff and then they could, you know, just kind of start to get pro, you know, start to make progress really quickly rather than have to do a whole bunch of work. So what we did is we've partnered with a company who I'll tell you a little bit more about um, to build all of these uh, kits out in ClickUp. And I'll explain why we use ClickUp in a moment. So this here is the local SEO process built in ClickUp. Now there's two parts to this. There's the list of tasks that need to happen. And we've, you know, just got them sorted by, you know, month one, month two, month three, blah, 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 right? Um, there, is, uh, there are all the dates that are uh, attached to this particular project. So if we started this project on the 2nd of August, then this would be due on the 9th of August. And then all these dates are programmatically put in place based on how long we think it takes to do each thing. Um, and then month one through six, we then have them in particular categories and then you can come in and start assigning them to team members. And this is a template that we can duplicate for every client we bring on as a local SEO client. Now, the second part of this is the documentation that goes along with it. And so huge shout out to Pete here for putting all this documentation together and a big shout out to our team, our, our ClickUp team who help us do this. And I'll talk more about those guys in a minute. Um, so this is really the, the why, what, how, now of local SEO and how to use it in ClickUp, right? So why do we have local SEO? What exactly is it? How do we manage it in ClickUp? Uh, one of our Mavericks has said that this one document here taught her more about how to use ClickUp than anything else she's read or any other video that she, she's watched about how to use ClickUp. So this walks you through how to structure your ClickUp and then how to actually use this particular template in your ClickUp uh, um, system. And then uh, what we have is, so this is the documentation here. These are the, and there's, by the way, there are a, should be in the documentation here, a whole bunch of pages 
all the documentation here for, you know, month one. So setting up the reporting tool, uh, you know, here's how to do that with some recommendations. So if I come back here, pretty much every one of these tasks where you need some supporting documentation, it's in the documentation guide here. It's not just a series of tasks that you then have to go figure out yourself. Right. We've actually given you guidance here based on Pete's experience. The one thing we're not going to do is we're not going to teach you how to become a world-class SEO. We're not going to teach you how to, we're not going to spend hours putting together video courses and teach you how to do keyword research. We're going to give you some guidance. Our, our assumption is that you're hiring people who know how to do their job, right? We're not a community college. We're not hiring, we're not teaching you and your team how to design websites. We're basically showing you the order in which you should do things and then giving you some guidance, right? So that you can hand this off to your team and hopefully your team have their own experience and their own process, uh, you know, order aggregator, order aggregator citations, uh, you know, here's how you do it. Here are some of the tools that you use. Uh, off you go, right? You might have your own process, which is perfectly fine. This is just designed to get you up and running a lot faster and a lot quicker, yeah, a lot um, with, with some consistency. So the third, the third part of this is I'm going to show you. Um, so this is the implementation. I want to show you how we distribute these, and then I'll talk about the transformation. So I want to show you how we distribute these. We distribute these to our clients. Uh, through what we call an installation guide. And so this here walks you through exactly how to install this into ClickUp. And there's one thing I want to note particularly about this particular template here is that when you install this into your ClickUp and save it as a template, <clears throat> when you reuse it for a new client, you can remap your start and due dates. The way that our ClickUp team have programmed this is that when you kick open a new project, for a client, a local SEO client, you basically say, hey, we're starting on September 1, it will actually go through and remap all of these due dates and start dates based on the start date for that client, which I think is genius. And I didn't even know you could do that in ClickUp, but you can. So big shout out to Corey and, uh, and Justin for solving that for us. And so then these installation guides that we, that we share, uh, we have a button here which says, hey, uh, go and install this into your ClickUp. You click that button, you log in to ClickUp, you say which workspace you want to install it into, you give it a name, you choose the folder that you want to put it in or the space that you want to put in, and then you also save this as a template in your workspace so that you can then reuse it in the future for more for future clients. You click on Use Template and it automatically installs it in your ClickUp um, account, which is genius. Yeah, baby. I mean, this thing gets me so excited I can listen when I started my agency if this had existed dude I, I just like it would have saved me probably five yeah. years of trying to figure shit out so um huge shout out to Pete for putting this together also a huge shout out to Justin and Corey who yes. are booting out in in ClickUp for us and a quick little announcement I only learned this yesterday this is our little secret weapon, which I'm going to secretly announce here because I don't know whether it's public knowledge yet, but I'm going to announce it. That's what I do. I, I don't even it. know what you're about to say, and I'm a little scared about it. So Corey, who actually builds all of this stuff out for us in ClickUp, has just been hired by ClickUp as Director of Education. So he, so the guy that's building these out for us in ClickUp now actually works for ClickUp as Director of Education. So... Um, Ben Siegfried says, I can do all this stuff, but I'm not that organized. So this is perfect for me, which is exactly the point. That's exactly why we've done this. Now, there's one other piece here that I need to talk about. Look at that, Max. I just changed tabs in preview without using the mouse. Woohoo! Here's the transformation. Maz Hancock, who's one of our Mavericks Club members uh, from the Gold Coast, she says, the playbook is the perfect executive summary and the ClickUp template is flipping amazing. Now, you know I didn't make this up because I would never say flipping amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Way easier than I expected. Mavericks Club is changing my life. So thank you very much. Her words there. And um, the, and this particular template, the, the local SEO, is designed to help you just grow more recurring revenue and add right. more recurring revenue to, exactly. uh, to your business. Um, 
while we're here, there's one other thing I just want to show the people. Some of the other deliverables that we're working on, uh, you know, web audits, for, um, SEO audits, care plans, discovery workshops. We have an onboarding system for onboarding new clients. And also, I just want to show you some of the stuff that we've got around uh, recruiting. I'm not going to go into details here, but we've got an entire recruitment process. Uh, we've got uh, an interview process that you put people through when you want to hire someone. We have processes for running weekly meetings, daily huddles, um, monthly planning meetings. We have team onboarding processes. Uh, we also have um, an entire sales system here that we've built uh, that we're teaching in one of our programs called Sales Accelerator, which is a sales pipeline with all the automations and the phone calls and the scripts and everything. And not as, as, as is the local SEO uh, process here, it's not just the checklist of things that you need to do in the right order. It's also the documentation and the guidance to get through that. So Christopher Stratman said business in a box. Pete calls it the maverick in a box. Um, uh, you know, a similar uh, uh, thing, but that's kind of where it's at. So I would love to hear your feedback. Uh, just um, uh, drop a, a comment in the chat and let us know your thoughts on this and let us know if there's anything particular, particular that you want us to build and anything that you need. And then uh, in a moment, I'm going to talk about how you can uh, start a conversation with us to try and get your hands on some of these kits. Um Hey, what what's um, some of the feedback you've had from rolling these out to Mavericks Club members so far? Oh, just all of them. Whether it's the client um, the client onboarding process or the sales process, the sales process is changing people's whole business. And uh, you know, all the all the little things we're doing and all the big things we're doing, but we're getting a lot of really positive feedback. Um, people are are just the SEO. They're taking it. They're not even altering it at all. They're literally taking it and throwing it right into their business and handing it off to their team and having them execute it. And it just goes right away. Um, same with the same with the kickoff meeting process that we did. That's Christina's uh, IP, intellectual property. And uh, people are loving that one. And uh, the we do the org chart one too, which is interesting. So we, we have, um, we, I've had some, some one-on-ones walking people through that process of building an org chart to help you determine who you should be hiring and when and who should be next, that kind of thing. So it's a special process for that. So uh, yeah, we're getting, I mean, people are loving it and they just keep asking us for more. And of course we're just kind of teasing them, teasing them out a little bit, but uh, yeah, it's been we're, very positive. We're, we were averaging and we still are averaging. We've slowed down the cadence a little bit because we kind of got a little bit overwhelmed, but we're averaging one of these a week. Uh, so whether we're producing one a week or, or sort of four over a four-week period, um, we're averaging adding one of these to the library every week, uh, which is – and we're trying to balance between the internal biz dev stuff like, you know, growing your sales, hiring your team, managing your team, all that kind of stuff, and uh, peppering that with these front-facing deliverables so that you've just got more uh, structure and – and, and also it's probably some more services that you can sell clients if you're interested in expanding your service offering. I think there's uh, 18 or 20 in the box right now. And there's my list is, I stopped writing my list at about 75. Wow. So, <laughs> yeah, we have a bunch awesome. coming. So. That's great. Fantastic. Um, so again, just let us know in the in the chat if there's anything specific that you um, want us to work on and we can look at prioritizing that. Now, so you're probably all asking, how do we get our hands on these? Well, you need to have a conversation with us to see if you're a good fit for us to work with, um, frankly, because this is not a, you know, I mean, we could just give you this and, and off you go and chances are you're going to get overwhelmed. So there is some coaching that goes along with this and these are available to our Mavericks Club members, and also some of them will be available to uh, members of our Sales Accelerator coaching program. So these are of these are part of the IP that we're developing for our coaching clients. So if you want to have a conversation with us about that, uh, and you want to have a conversation with how you get your hands on these kits, just drop the hashtag kit into the chat here, and we'll reach out to you. some of the on the team. will reach out to you and start a conversation. So just put the hashtag kit in the uh, the comments and we'll reach out to you and start a conversation about which kits we have and how you can get your hands on them and whether or not, um, you know, we're a good fit to work together because we can't work with everyone. The truth is we're a small team. We have four coaches here. Uh, we're looking at growing the coaching department. Uh, thank you, Joan, has put the hashtag kit. There you go. That's how you do it. Uh, we are looking at growing the coaching department and um, 
uh, he is in charge of that. And um, but yeah, we, we, we're a small team. We can't decide the floodgates and work with everyone. We're managing our growth strategically so that we don't get overwhelmed. Um, but we are looking for the right uh, agencies to work with. So. Uh, ben Siegfried, Josiah Bussing, and a bunch of Facebook users have, uh, <laughs> have put kit. And Christopher Stratman says, Ugh. <laughs> "Well, come on, dude, <laughs> get on a call and have a chat with us. You've been around. You've been around for a long time, Christopher." Uh, yeah, it's time. Might, it's time. Might, yeah, it's time. Um, so, uh, what what are you what are you most excited about, Pete? Uh, I haven't prepped people to any of these questions. No, yeah, I, like where is this coming from? Yeah, what do you apart from learning how to play the bass guitar? What are you most excited about over the over the next six months as you increase your capacity? So you're so Pete's officially on with us part time now. So half a week, half a um, week, Pete's twenty hours, with us. twenty hours with you, and twenty hours in my agency, which is perfect because that's really all I need in my agency. My team kind of takes care of everything else, and. Uh, I just need to be onboarding clients and kind of puppeteer. I'm the marionette master. That's really yeah. all I'm doing. Um, yeah. So what am I excited about in the next six months? I'm really excited to be pumping out this uh, Maverick in a Box thing. Um, I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to our next event, which we need to really start talking about with some special guests, which is MavCon, which is going to be the first week of October. And... Uh, um, yeah, looking forward to all that kind of stuff. And just, you know, for me personally, the most rewarding thing in, about my job is to see the people I'm coaching and the people we're coaching as a team. Cause it's not just a, like, I'm not the only one that coaches you. If you're my, if you're in my squad, um, it's a team effort and I love seeing the progress. I mean, I was on a call with somebody who's been in Mavericks for three months today and um, you know, he knocked out his past three month plan and he's ready for his next three month plan. And we're gearing up to really like blow his cash flow through the roof so that he can start hiring and remove himself from the business. And like this time next year, he should be removed from the business to the point where he's just kind of checking in and, and doing the things. Um, so like that kind of stuff. And, you know, we, we have so many success stories, uh, you know, throwing out names like Adam Silverman and Simon Major and Maz is really kicking ass. And uh, like so many people have just like it's so rewarding for me personally to be able to impact people in that way. And uh, I just love it. I just love, I can't wait to do more of it. I'm like, I can't wait till tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, me too. And I'm looking forward to travel restrictions being knocked on the head yes. so I can fly back out to the States and we can hang out at our live events again. Uh, hey, we need cool. to we need to get to the UK too, by the way. Yeah. Oh, totally. I, mean, I was there and the I was yep. there and I mean it just blows my mind. It seems like a hundred years ago, but I was there in April two thousand nineteen. Uh, and met a bunch of our customers out there. And, uh, man, I love the UK. I mean, London's just awesome. I love London. I can't wait to go back. So um, hopefully we get our shit together here in Australia and we can uh, we can travel again because at the moment I'm barely allowed to leave the house, man. I leave the house and they just shoot me on the street. So I'm um, <laughs> so looking forward to that. Uh, and I'm also I'm, I'm really looking forward to growing, you know, one of the most rewarding things I think that I've managed to do over the last couple of years is to elevate the coaches and the coaching team so that there are people in our programs now that I don't even know. I don't, I don't, and they're having success and we're getting great feedback and I don't interact with them. And that's very humbling and a little bit scary. Well, it was scary when I first started doing it, when, you know, growing the team and kind of letting go of control a little bit has been uh, scary. But now once you get through that initial hurdle of letting go of a little bit of control empowering other people to do a good job and they start doing a good job for me it was like the floodgates opened i was like okay now who else can i hire to do this and who else can i hire to do this and uh i am spending more and more time thinking about strategy and working on the business and um the team are doing an amazing job you know and this show the agency hour is a great example of that because I've, I've been uh, i've actually been coaching people lately to when something comes at them the first question they should ask is not how do I do this? But who can I get to do this? Yeah, that's right. Exactly. Like who, who, not how. Like, yeah, totally. 
<laughs> Andrew Tate, I love this. I'm just a one-man band for the moment, but I'll stick around and see what ideas I can steal if you don't mind. Totally happy for you to do that, Absolutely. Andrew. I can tell you there are there are many people in Mavericks Club who did that for a long time, hung around and, and stole a bunch of ideas from our free content and then eventually elevated and got into our programs and now have teams. And uh, So, yeah, totally uh, happy for you to do that. Martin Sanders says, yeah, would love to welcome you guys back to the UK. Did we meet, Martin, when I was out there in the UK? Did we meet? Uh, just let me know in the chat, I because um, you know I should remember, but I meet a lot of people. So uh, Martin, don't, Martin uh, says he's buying the first round. So excellent, there you go. Good, good. <laughs> fantastic. Uh, Jaden Navarrete is here from the US. Hey, Jaden, good to see hey, you again. Uh, cool, cool. Um, so, hey guys, let us know in the chat if you've got any questions. Um, if there are any particular kits that you want us to work on, if there's anything that you need in your agency. Um, if there are, you know, any any burning desires that you have. And also, what guests would you like us to bring into this show in the coming weeks? Uh, we've got, a, you know, pretty good network, I think, just really from the podcast that we ran for four or five years, got a fairly good network of people that we can reach out to and fairly well connected in the agency space uh, and kind of just generally in the kind of entrepreneurial business space. So if there's any particular topics that you want us to talk about, uh, let us know. And um, I was also thinking last night it would be good to maybe turn this thing into a podcast at some point. Um, I don't know how that would go if we're doing a lot of screen sharing and stuff, but we should definitely have that conversation mm -hmm. uh, internally. I like the name, Agency Hour. Sounds like a pretty good podcast. I'd probably listen to it. Um, and so we might eventually turn this back into a, a podcast at some point too. Cool. Um well, it is the agency hour, and so I think we should hang here for another 14 minutes, right? Because <laughs> you want to pull uh, out the bass? I can pull out the bass if you want. Pull out the I'll pull out the guitar, man. <laughs> uh, do you guys have any questions? I need a starting point for a statement of work and an agreement for signature system style clients. Yeah, cool. Perfect. Uh, Jaden, I know we're having a conversation. Uh, we've got that stuff. Um, Jenny Lakenan stopped writing proposals when she joined <clears throat> Mavericks in, I want to say, February 2020-ish. Right. Yep. Yep. Um, yeah. She came into Mavericks very quickly, kind of rebuilt her sales process based on what we taught her, stopped writing proposals and started writing Statement of Works. And she and I actually developed the Statement of Work template uh, that we now suggest our our clients use instead of a proposal. That's a whole other conversation that I'm happy to have at some point. Um, one of the things we teach in Mavericks and also in Sales Accelerator is proposals just slow the whole sales process down. And the idea is to get a, a client to commit through a series of touch points and calls and meetings, get them to commit and then write a statement of work and submit a statement of work rather than a proposal because a proposal just by language a pro by nature of the fact that it's called a proposal, it's something that you're proposing to your client and it's your idea and you're proposing it and you're asking them to agree. Whereas a statement of work is just a, a way of formalizing something that you and the client have already agreed on those, on those initial meetings and those calls and through that sales process. Um, and so we, uh, oh, well done, Jaden, jumped in and sold a website for 1500 plus $499 a month starting the first month. Good stuff. Excellent. Um, yeah, so Jenny Lakin and I developed the Statement of Work template, which is now being used, um, uh, which is good. And and writing proposals um, is kind of a thing of the past for me. Even though we give away our proposal template as our number one free resource and lead magnet, and it still does a great job. And I think it's still relevant if you're just starting out and you are selling services, websites uh, to clients, I think a proposal has its place, but I got to a point in my business fairly quickly where I realized that writing proposals was slowing the process down. And so I pivoted to a slightly different sales process and started using statement of works. When someone pitched me with a statement of work, they sent me a statement of work. Uh, another agency that I hired sent me a statement of work instead of a proposal. I'm like, well, that's interesting. And, and it was a very smooth sales process. So I adopted kind of what they did and stole a little bit of what they did and started tweaking it. And then, you know, frankly, I, the last three or four years that I was doing client services, I didn't write a proposal. Um, I think the marketing and the positioning piece up front, if you get that right, by the time you're speaking with someone on the phone or in a meeting, 
then you don't need to write a proposal uh, because they'll agree to what it is you're proposing on the call and then you just issue them a statement of work and you're up and about. And the statement of work really is kind of the contract. Um, Jade, no, I don't think the statement of work is in Agency Accelerator. I, I don't think it is yet. Um, let's we, We'll have a conversation offline about that, Jaden, and uh, we'll see what we can get you connected with there. But I don't think it's in Agency Accelerator. It's really – and the reason it's not no, is because – no, it's in Sales Accelerator and, and Mavericks Club. And the reason is because, um, you know, we, with, we, we don't want to overwhelm people. So, our, like, Pete and I talk about this all the time. Our job as coaches is to sit down with you and identify where you're at in the business, where you want to go over the next, you know, 12 months and then break that down to a 90-day sprint, Right work out a game plan or what we call a flight plan for the next 90 days. And then our job is to keep you focused. So we get Mavericks and clients come to us all the time and say, hey, you know, where can we get this? Where can we get this? And when you start having a conversation, you realise they're kind of chasing a shiny object yeah. and it's actually not going to be the silver bullet that they need. In fact, it's going to be a distraction. So our job is to keep you focused on what you've said that you need to get done in the next 90 days to achieve the goals that you said are important to your business. If you start moving directions, the first question I'm going to ask is, has the goal changed? Right. Have you changed what it is you're trying to achieve? Because if you have, then let's have that conversation. But it sounds like you're off track and you're down a, you're down a rabbit hole now chasing a, a shiny object and you should really stay focused. So, Jaden, that's the reason that some of this stuff's not in Agency Accelerator because Agency Accelerator is really just about developing your signature system and practising the sales process. Sales Accelerator goes much deeper into the sales process with sales pipelines and templates and all that kind of stuff. Great, exactly. Um, cool, cool, just looking through the comments here. Okay, any other questions? Otherwise, I'm happy to do a 53-minute agency hour as our first episode. I'm totally fine. I do have another call on the hour anyway, which I would like to prep for. Um, any other questions, let us know in the comments. And uh, <laughs> Jaden says you'll probably see me there then. <laughs> Well done. Can you hear those sound effects? Yeah. yeah. Very good. I, we went into lockdown again in Melbourne and we're going to be here for a few months. So I just went to the office and pulled all the cameras and the microphones and the roadcaster out of the office and brought it all home and thought, well, that's it. I'm just going to be working from we home. Should, maybe we should rename this the agency hour or so. <laughs> <laughs> approximately. Approximate hour. <laughs> the agency approximately an hour. Uh, very good. Good stuff. Uh, so, hey, right. is this a good idea? Do you think we should keep doing agency hour? Do you think uh, it's a good format? Do you, What do you want to learn? Who do you want to see? What do you want to, you know, what do you want to talk about? What are the conversations you want to have? What other kits uh, would you like to see us produce? Oh, yeah. This is Herbie Hancock, man. This is one of Oscar's favourite songs. It's called Watermelon Man. Oh, um, yeah. Sanders wanted to... Uh, Oscar loves it because he, he loves the flutes. Yeah. And he loves the fact that it's called Watermelon Man. <laughs> cool. All right, man. Well, Pete, thank you All so right. much. For thank you, time. man. Thanks for uh, your contributions and uh, and your work. And thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, this has been the very first uh, episode of Agency Hour. We're going to do it every week, same time, 8 o'clock Thursday morning, Melbourne time, which is, what, 6 p.m. Eastern? Pete? 6 p.m. Eastern for now until the clocks change, yeah. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, have a great day, everyone. Uh, let us know in the comments. We'll come back and revisit the comments and uh, we'll see you all again next week. Till then, I'm right. Troy Dean. Pete Perry. Go elevate. Go elevate.